here's a very common mistake that people make in topology when they're modeling something and this can completely ruin your model. I'm going to make sure you don't make that mistake. Yesterday, I made a video where I was explaining how you can model stuff while retaining perfect topology. What's the right workflow for getting good topology in your models? All right. And in that video, I had a situation which was something like what you can see right here. I've recreated a simple version of the situation just for the sake of this video. And my friend Alex came to me in the comment section and he said, Aryan, on timestamp, whatever the case was, you had a situation where you had a vertex which had six edges shooting out of it. Is this a problem? Would you recommend doing this otherwise? Is this a mistake? What would you say about this? So I figured out a very good way to formulate this because there are cases when having six edges shooting out of a vertex can be problematic, but there are also cases when it's not going to be problematic, all right? In the situation that I was talking about yesterday, I just had a flat surface like the one you can see right here. What I did was I would take four faces at a time, I would inset them, and then with loop tools, I would turn them into circles so I can get these little holes on that steering wheel from yesterday's video where I could put the screws and stuff like that. And then I would have these circles right next to each other. And as a result of you, this insetting operation, I would have vertices like this one right here, which have six edges shooting out of them. However, in my situation, this was not a problem. That's my answer right now. My first answer to, uh, I'm going to give you two answers. That's my first answer to Alex's question is no, I would not do this any differently because in my situation, it does not cause me any problems. However, if I were to continue doing this, it's very likely that it would cause me some problems, maybe not in this exact situation, but in some other situations. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see, when this is going to be a problem is this, when you have a vertex, which has more than four edges shooting out of it on an angle. Okay, so when this vertex is connecting two faces which are at an angle to each other. All right. So here's a situation. Here's an example of that same thing. This is basically the same shape, except I organized the geometry in a way that this is behind an angle. So it's going down instead of outwards. And here you can see the same case. Okay. And as you can see, when I have this going on here that I have a vertex with six edges shooting out of it, it gives me all sorts of problems and deformations and it behaves in a way that I probably don't want it to behave. You can see that this looks very unorganized and it's going up and down and it's pretty bumpy and it's not looking very nice. If I had a smooth shading, uh, if I add smooth shading to this object, it doesn't look very nice anymore. Okay, you can see that it doesn't look the way I want it to look. However, there's a very easy way to solve this problem. The way to solve this problem is a bevel. Okay, I marked my seam so I can just select similar with shift G. All I have to do in this case is add a bevel here, which is going to have two segments and a shape value of one. And now I still have a vertex which has more than four edges shooting out of it. This one has one, two, three, four, five, the same thing down here. But this vertex is no longer participating in an angle. Okay, it's not a part of an angled edge. As you can see now, it's on a flat surface. So now all of a sudden, we don't get these shading issues anymore. It's probably still not perfect. If you look at this from side view, you would probably still notice some slight imperfections. But they're very slight and they're insignificant in a situation like this. Sometimes if you have some serious problems going on, you might want to do this twice just to control this a little bit better. You want to add another bevel, but I can't really imagine. I can't think of a time when I had to do this. For me, just adding a bevel like this solves this kind of problem. So just to summarize, this is going to be a problem if your edge or your vertex is participating on a curved surface, if it's participating in an angle, if it's on a flat surface, you're going to be all right. Let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next one.